Welcome to the next video tutorial for Unreal Engine 4 Elevator Multi Elevator tutorial. I have finished this on the last two videos. You are welcome to see them. So now what I will do is some basic buttons right here. I will go to create then geometry, then box, then auto grid and I will do a box here about three three feet from the ground to, to be my reference and now I can do my my panel So I will delete this because I do not I do not need, need that one. And I will select I, I, I will select only this one. And I will do some basic buttons right here with the cylinder. Nothing fancy, alright? Nothing fancy. Mi gente, yo espero que estén aprendiendo. saber voy a quitarle las subdivisiones a esto que no las necesito es half eight no that's look like like a bolt un tornillo let's leave it 16 all right and then let's copy this Oh. All right. I will do six buttons only, okay? So, let's continue. Let me do something here quickly, okay? So I will attach, I will attach this to the elevator, okay? So what I will do is to select the elevator, hit attach right here, and then attach this. That's it. Are you ready to go to Unreal Engine 4? I will be using 4.8 because I have to update this one and I will not update this one right now. So I will launch uh, 4.8, okay? I'm launching it right now. Uh, when we have this exporter to Unreal the pivot that is the move tool or the rotation tool 
or transforms is the center of the grid for 3ds max that's what unreal will read as the pivot point so saying that we need these doors to be in the center of the grid also what I will do is I will hide this then I will select this door and right here select midpoint toggle turn on snaps this is angle snap but you don't need it but I just put it in on alright and I will have grid snap and what I will do is I will move this to here and this one to there too okay too easy huh and I will select these buttons right here that they have the pivot already on the center I will select them all them let me rename them first if you see I have named everything alright so I will do the same with the buttons I will have floor one floor two Floor 3 Floor 4 Floor 5 And Floor 6 Ok And now we'll select all of them I will press W key That is the move tool And I will have this 0 0 0 So everything Oh, I'm missing the roof the roof I want the roof to snap perfectly with the elevator so what I will do is I will ha change the pivot of the elevator to this corner to do that I'll do the same I have endpoint snap and grid snap and then turn on snaps and I can change and I can move the elevator from from this end point to the center of the grid let me have this right here okay let me hide this and let me move now to the center of the grid okay hey there's many ways to do this all right there's many way to do this alright I will open this project right here real engine is opening I have all on the center of the grid the elevator the roof the doors and the buttons that are down there So I think he already opened. All right. 
so let's end this video we have 10 minutes let's end this video thanks for watching thanks for staying tuned gracias por estar pegado mi gente perdónenme por no hablar tanto español pero ahora que entramos a un real ahora sí voy a hablar español en un real para que todo el mundo entienda aunque yo sé que ustedes saben inglés vamos